CLO Scientific Electronic Library Online is a bibliographic database, digital library, and cooperative electronic publishing model of open access journals. CLO was created to meet the scientific communication needs of developing countries and provides an efficient way to increase visibility and access to scientific literature originally established in Brazil in 1997. Today there are 14 countries in the CLO network and its journal collections: Argentina, Bolivia, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, Costa Rica, Cuba, Mexico, Peru, Portugal, South Africa, Spain, Uruguay, and Venezuela. Paraguay is developing a journal collection. CLO was initially supported by the South Paulo Research Foundation and the Brazilian National Council for Scientific and Technological Development along with the Latin American and Caribbean Center on Health Sciences Information CLO provides a portal that integrates and provides access to all of the CLO network sites. Users can search across all CLO collections or limit by a single country collection, or browse by subject area, publisher, or journal title. Topic. Database and projects By October 2015 the database contained 1,249 journals 39,651 issues journal numbers 573,525 research articles 13,005,080 citations some of the number of items in each article's reference list from different countries, universally accessible for free open access, in full text format. The CLO project's stated aims are to "...envisage the development of a common methodology for the preparation, storage, dissemination and evaluation of scientific literature in electronic format." All journals are published by a special software suite which implements a scientific electronic virtual library accessed via several mechanisms, including a table of titles in alphabetic and subject list, subject and author indexes and a search engine. History Project's launch timeline 1997, beginning of the development of CLO as a FAPESP-supported project in partnership with BIREME 1998, CLO goes live. 2002, the CNPQ also began its support for CLO. 2005, Argentina joined as regional collection, project supported by CONICET. 200X, Chile joined as regional collection, project supported by CONICYT. 2009, South Africa joined as regional collection, project supported by ASAF. 2012, the CLO Books project is launched. 2013, the CLO Citation Index is integrated into Thomson Reuters Web of Knowledge WOS, covering about 650 journals total, 300 more than the 350 already in the WOS. 2017 CLO announced that they were setting up a preprint server, CLO Preprints. Topic. Open access In 2013 the Latin American CLO project completed 15 years of free publishing. Open access has long emphasized access to scholarly materials. However, open access can also mean access to the means of producing visible and recognized journals. This issue is particularly important in developing and emergent countries, where are other benefits of and challenges for publishing scientific journals in and by emerging countries. Topic: Technology. Articles are sent to CLO by publishers in XML or HTML plus SGML using a variety of article DTDs. The SGML DTD was used until 2013, when CLO started to offer the Journal Article Tag Suite JATS DTD standard for XML deposits. Using to mark up XML a macro in a proprietary desktop application Microsoft Office Word, DOCX, in the CLO portals, received JATS articles are converted via XSLT to HTML, and SGML plus HTML pack. Articles use the HTML content in general a handmade PDF to HTML conversion. This process may reveal errors that are reported back to the publisher for correction. 
graphics are also converted to standard formats and sizes. The original and converted forms are archived. The converted form is moved into a relational database, along with associated files for graphics, multimedia, or other associated data. Many publishers also provide PDFs of their articles, and these are made available without change. Bibliographic citations are SGML or XML parsed and automatically linked to the associated articles in CLO and resources on publishers' websites. Unresolvable references, such as to journals or particular articles not yet available at one of these sources, are tracked in the database and automatically come live when the resources become available. An in-house indexing system provides search capability. Topic: Controversy. In July 2015, Jeffrey Beale, an American librarian, posted an article on his blog referring to the two largest Latin American open access databases, CLO and Redlyc, as favelas, which is a derogatory Portuguese term for a slum. Beale stated, "Many North American scholars have never even heard of these meta publishers or the journals they aggregate." Their content is largely hidden, the neighborhood remote and unfamiliar. Among the responses is a motion passed by the Brazilian Forum of Public Health Journals Editors and the Associação Brasileira de Sword Coletiva, Abrasco, Brazilian Public Health Association. The motion takes exception to Beale's characterization, draws attention to the underlying ethnocentric prejudice, and corrects factual inaccuracies. As a counterpoint to Beale's Neocolonial point of view. The motion draws attention to work by Vesuri, Gudin, and Seto emphasizing the value of initiatives such as CLO and Redlyc, also targeted by Beale, to the development of science in Latin America and globally. In fact, Latin America is using the OA publishing model to a far greater extent than any other region in the world. Also, because the sense of public mission remains strong among Latin American universities, these current initiatives demonstrate that the region contributes more and more to the global knowledge exchange while positioning research literature as a public good. See also List of academic databases and search engines PubMed Central PMC. Redlyc similar project